This map, based on Canizara's work, was among the first maps of San Francisco Bay published in Europe. Today, the works of these early visitors help researchers piece together what San Francisco Bay was like at the time of European contact. The discipline is called historical ecology. It's something that geographers and archaeologists and environmental scientists have been doing forever, probably. So for restoration, the question comes up, you know, what did these systems look like? How did they function? To reconstruct what the historical landscape looked like, we assembled dozens, even hundreds, of different historical documents. Maps, photographs, journals. All of these provide different little hints and clues about how the landscape used to look and function. Here's the salt ponds in their glorious colors, and we've overlaid it so that it geo-references fairly perfectly onto modern imagery, so you can see the sloughs and channels there. Then let's put on the GIS, so the mapping that we've done based on this and all these other sources. So there you can see some of the tidal channels that gave the tidal marshland such complexity and richness as a habitat. There's always a danger with these efforts to paint the picture of the past to suggest to people that we can go back there somehow, that ecosystems run backwards, which they don't. Ecosystems do not run backwards. You can't reach the past. In this case, the idea of developing a picture of the past was to give us some sense of what the land would do on its own terms. <laughs> 